percent. A correction from the peak. I'm not sure where it is exactly now. Yes, I would say, as I, I will repeat my view, Carl, long term investors should think seriously about buying these dips. That is my view. Did you ever, as prime minister in the financial crisis, tell people to buy stocks? Is that is that? Well, I think that's strategy? Uh, how would we put this in polite diplomatic language? That is odd for a senior economic official, a financial official to do. We would never do that. Markets actually make their own decisions. Our job in the public policy space is to provide certainty, in this case on public health responses, where there have been question marks in this country about adequacy, testing kits, and etc. And then certainty in terms of, let's call it all the tools in the fiscal and monetary toolbox to act if we end up with a growth gap of 1, 2, or 4%. Uh, telling people to buy I, doesn't strike me as the proper responsibility for a public official. Kevin, wanted to ask you as well about uh, what we've seen in, in oil and gas. Uh, clearly, Australia, a, a big uh, part of their economy, exporting uh, LNG. Uh, what, what do you make of the sell-off we've seen uh, and uh, the, the prices where we are, 41 on WTI, so still, uh, still some way to go from 2016 lows, and, and how badly it could hit countries like Australia? I think there'll be a significant hit. Uh, as we know, China represents such a huge slab of global demand. Uh, LNG in particular, uh, not to mention coal and other fossil fuels. Um, and you've seen the Chinese invoke force majeure in terms of a number of contracts. And so when markets look at that, they begin to press the panic button. Hence why I think their equities are down. But I would say, as I observe these trends, two weeks ago we had irrational market exuberance in this place. Uh, today we have irrational market panic. Data lies, in my view, Mixed data lies up the middle of that, including in the energy sector, which will recover as, the Chinese, as recover as the Chinese stimulus kicks in the second half of the year. Kevin Rudd, as always, a pleasure to see you. Thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. We're getting some breaking news out of Austin on South by Southwest. Julia Borston with the details. Julia. That's right. The mayor of Austin announcing that he's issuing an order that effectively cancels South by Southwest. This is the festival that gathers both music, film, and, of course, a big um, Internet component, people talking about the future of technology. Now, this is um, had there were a lot of questions about why or wh whether this was going to be canceled and why it had not been canceled yet. It does start a week um, from yesterday. It starts this coming Thursday, Friday in Austin. 55,000 people signed a Change.org petition saying that South by Southwest should be canceled amid the coronavirus outbreak. Now, over 400,000 people attended South by Southwest and the related festivals in Austin last year. So this is an event that gathers a lot of people. Now it will not be happening starting next week. Back over to you. Julia, thank you so much uh, for that. Mike, all, all through this week, we discuss whether we've peaked in terms of fear, whether we've peaked sure. in terms of the hit uh, to, to the economy. This type of thing shows that we're not there yet. We're not there yet in terms of response. I do think it, it'll be interesting to see over the next week and more how the market is sort of stress tested for its resilience to these things. I mean, everybody knows there's going to be more infections, going to be more announcements, more business constrictions. So uh, to see how the market accepts it is going to be more interesting than when we get to the end of the other impacts. question is the loss of economic activity. Can that be made up quickly? Yeah. With, it, with something like this. You have to wait till next year. Exactly. Lots Absolutely. more questions to get answers to. Se special tonight, 7 p.m. We'll have uh, many of them. Uh, that does it for Closing Bell. Fast Money begins right now.